Many farmers ask me why can't they just use Google Maps or Earth to actually monitor the cotton. I think that's a really great question. Um, I would say that there are two main reasons for that. The first one is uh, that Google Maps don't update their uh, all areas uh, as frequent. You'll see that certain areas are actually um, a, a couple of years old already. So and this is this is maybe a good example. You'll see to the bottom this. Um, uh, a date that says 2013. That, that's how old this image is. Um, some areas are obviously a lot more recent, uh, but that's not very useful if you um, if you can only see an image of uh, four or five years ago. Now, Google Maps are really great for many things, uh, but for monitoring your crops is not that great. So here's a good example. Um, so you'll see if I hide this layer, um, you'll see that. Um, this is Google Maps in the background here, uh, and you'll see that it actually shows that it seems like there's something growing. Uh, but if you switch on this layer, you will see that it doesn't completely correlate with that. Um, so, and the reason for that is, is that this date is these dates are a lot more recent. So you'll see this is the 23rd of January, and this layer to the um, below that might be uh, a lot older than that. So that's a that's the first layer. So these images are up to date. Uh, once every five days, you'll get uh, new images, um, and Google Maps are could be uh, many years old. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that Google Maps only show you an image based on the visible spectrum, which means red, green, and blue, uh, and it doesn't show you the multispectral bands that you would see in um, uh, our maps. Um, so here you will see. Um, uh, a health map uh, that's based on certain bands of the multispectral range and uh, it allows you to see certain things that you might not be able to see with um, this base layer uh, or the um, just a normal RGB layer here. Uh, so those are the two main reasons for uh, using these layers instead of Google Maps.